Stevenson gets the season opening 90 to 87 overtime win over Elizabethtown tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, it might not have been perfect, but it was an awful lot of fun this game tonight. Yeah, we're uh, we're a little bit wild and loose, uh, which is which is good. And uh, and obviously, there's some things that we've got to clean up and get better. Didn't close the game out uh, either either the overtime period or uh, the end of the game as well as we'd like, but. Uh, uh, there's a lot of growth that needs to take place, but we've got a high ceiling. Uh, this was a frenetic pace in the first half. It slowed down a little bit in the second half. They went to that zone. Which do you want your team to be playing at at this point? Yeah, the uh, manner zone it doesn't really matter to us. Um, we've got to uh, do a better job defensively of um, giving up one shot and then getting in transition. Um, Today they got too many opportunities, second chance opportunities, and we paid for it, and that's good for us uh, to, to win a game like this but have that on film where we can go back and, and uh, address that. The combo of Danzel Wright and also Johnny Rhodes. You have somebody that's leading things off on the starters and then coming off the bench the way that Johnny Rhodes did. Uh, I guess let's start with Danzel and his debut. How impressed were you? Well, uh, he can play a lot better. Yeah, he's, he's a talented guy. and. And uh, we have a devil of a time getting him under control in practice. And um, some shots that he missed tonight, he normally makes those shots. So uh, he's, he's capable of putting a crooked number up. Um, we're glad to have him. 30 points tonight. And then Johnny Rhodes off the bench. Who, we talked last season a lot about him and his energy and his hustle and all those things. And uh, it seems like maybe he's becoming more of a complete player. Yeah, Johnny's one of those guys that uh, gets better and better. I mean, you start practice uh, one hour, and then a couple hours later, he's he's better than he was when he started. You know, he's uh, he's a guy that uh, works at his craft, and um, he doesn't care where I play him or that I start him or have him come off the bench. The energy's there, and, and uh, you got to have a guy like that. When you have this many new players coming together for the first time in a game, how proud are you of the fact that they were able to come together and get a win like this? Yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, obviously, Elizabethtown competed really, really well. They're they're a tough guard. You know, they've got some kids that uh, uh, you've got to identify from the perimeter, and they spread you out. And then they can put the ball in the interior with a bounce. So uh, we had our hands full. And obviously, you saw today that uh, when we did it and did it well, it looked all right. And then all of a sudden, uh, um, they caught us in some bad rotations and, and capitalized on that. Now you go on the road for five. What, you, what are you expecting this weekend? Well, it's going to be a lot of the same. You, you know, we um, I got a chance to uh, glimpse at uh, uh, a couple games uh, earlier today and uh, we're going to have our hands full. We're excited about the opportunity and a uh, chance for us to grow. Right now you're undefeated. That's the good news. Yeah, hopefully it stays <laughs> that way. No doubt. Coach Gary Stewart, congratulations on the win tonight. He's, he's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.